Welcome to Story Adventures with Mrs. T. Today's story is about a little boy with big ideas who grew up to be a very important inventor. Saving the Day, Garrett Morgan's life-changing invention of the traffic signal, written by Karen Parsons, illustrated by R. Gregory Christie, published by Little Brown and Company. Morning dawned and the sun's golden rays signaled to Garrett Morgan that it was a new day. With his head in the clouds, always full of a dream, he was no help to others, or so it seemed. His brothers and sisters worked the house and the field, but Garrett's talents had yet to be revealed. He fell off all ladders, couldn't hammer a nail, was too weak to lift things, not even a pail. They'd all say, run along, go be by yourself. And though he liked dreaming, he wanted to help. He'd spend time alone, long walks he would take, his mind imagining new creations to make. In the middle of the road, a wheel lay on the ground. I know I can use that. So Garrett bent down, but sometimes his dreaming got him into trouble. He wouldn't watch where he was going, his mind in a bubble. See, along came a car, from the side a red truck, and though they missed Garrett, their nerves had been struck. Both slammed on their brakes, dodged the boy by a hair, but the near collision gave everyone a scare. Back at home, his mom said, you wait here for your dad. He just knew he was in trouble, that his parents were mad. His father walked in, looked at Garrett a beat, then called him over. Come here, son, have a seat. You have a great mind, imaginative, keen, ready to invent new from what has not yet been seen. Yes, you have a great mind, but could do even more. A tutor in the city could help your dream soar. This decision was hard. We don't want you away, but it's for your own good. You'll understand one day. Then Garrett's mother pulled him close and she said, But always remember this, son. Keep this in your head. While Ruth's good at fishing and Will likes to bake, Lucille loves the stars and the patterns they make. Frank's good with tools, can fix anything. And Minnie's at her best when she can sing. You too, son, have something that's all yours alone. Something to contribute that's just not yet known. All are given a gift, something you cannot learn. It's what you do with that gift that's your gift in return. The city was loud, people everywhere, and cars and horses and bicycles were there, all on the same roads, all at the same time. Horns honking, cars crashing, no reason or rhyme. Garrett studied hard, and when his lessons were done, he found a job doing something he found fun. Fixing sewing machines with their rotors and springs and gears and buttons made him think of many things, like a new kind of stitch on the sewing machine, one that made zigzags and kept edges clean. His mind churned and churned with new ideas to invent. Some drew attention, some helped pay the rent. But Garrett didn't care about fame or about wealth. What he wanted most was to show he could help. The day's early dawn signaled Garrett to wake. He decided to walk, a scenic route he would take. The grass, sparkling green, had just been cut low. Garrett longed to run through it. He decided to go. 
But just as he started, a white car whizzed past, heading straight for the crosswalk and going quite fast. Then he heard tires screech and someone yell, Stop! A horse and carriage were approaching. He could hear the hoofs clop. But the horse kept on going, didn't even slow down. Garrett ran fast to warn them, but soon heard the sound. First a crash and a boom, then the horse whinnied high. When Garrett finally got there, he tried not to cry. Though everyone was okay, and the horse would be all right. He'd seen too many wrecks. It was a terrible sight. That day, as he worked on a sewing machine, his mind drifted back to the collision he'd seen. There has to be some way to let drivers know that someone else is approaching, when to stop and to go, and a signal before stopping so first they could slow down. But they'd have to see it. It couldn't only be sound. But as Garrett wandered home, ideas in his head flowing, he forgot to pay attention to just where he was going. He stepped off a curb. The bike signaled no doubt. He saw a bright light, and then he went out. His mind was filled with colorful light. On and then off, what a beautiful sight. The green grass of a field illuminated by sun shone bright and invited Garrett to run. Golden light through the window eased in the morning. A new day was beginning, it was a subtle warning. The red glow of the coals, far too hot to touch, told Garrett to stop. One more move was too much. His mind was racing, ideas twisted and knotted. Then he suddenly jumped up and exclaimed, I've got it! A traffic signal! That's what he'd create, so all could travel safely. Yes, it'd be great! The red, yellow, and green would come along later, but it was Garrett's foundation that made us all safer. Garrett had a gift, yes, that is a fact, but what meant the most was that he gave back. The end. Thanks for listening.